A very warm welcome to all of you to yet another session of Dento webinars by Tooth Dentosum. Dentosum is a community-driven dental organization. We aim to help dental students via our articles, mnemonics, conceptual videos, and digital notes. We are a family of 103 dental colleges of India and growing. We hope that our new initiative, Dento Webinar, will bridge the gaps of knowledge and advance our understanding of new concepts. Today, we have with us an enthusiastic, intelligent, and a very hardworking dental student, Dr. Raj Puktani. Dr. Raj is the recipient of a gold medal in oral and maxillofacial surgery in his final year university exams. He has also received a medal from the Indian Society of Pediatric and Preventive Dentistry for being a meritorious student. Congratulations, Dr. Raj, for such great achievements. Currently, he is an intern at the prestigious Government Dental College and Hospital, Ahmedabad. Today, he is going to answer a few of our questions, which are for sure going to help all of you undergraduate students to ace your exams. We welcome you, Dr. Raj. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you for having me. Okay, so let me begin with my very first question. How do you feel on receiving not one, but two medals for your excellent scores in your final year? Uh, it feels amazing. It is a really nice because it's a, like a dream come true moment for me. Not for me, just my just goal for my family. Because I have dream for this gold medal from as uh, I was in 12th standard onwards. So it feels a great, a proud moment for me, for my family, for my relatives, friends, seniors, every one of them. It feels good. That is great. So we all have one main study mantra or one thing that keeps us going, keeps us motivated. What is that thing for you? Main study mantra for me is uh, quality reading, not a quantity reading. Main thing is that, see, as I believe only in quality reading, I have seen many such my friends, colleagues, they do like three, four times they read a subject. And as far as I have concerned, I have read just once or twice. But that once or twice would be equal to eight, nine times of reading that subject. Main thing about quality reading is that uh, many of us will be like, uh, first reading will be like, we'll read like a novel. Then second time we'll read to understand the subject. And third time we'll read to mug up the subject. It's not, for me, it's not like that. First time onwards only, I will start to understand the subject. I'll mug up the subject. Uh, minimum, I would take almost two to two and a half hours to read one chapter of a subject. So that is a bit lengthier for me. Sometimes I feel disheartened also that my friend is completing a subject in a week and I'm taking 15 to 20 days for that particular subject. But yes, after uh, you will get the result, you will be happier. Definitely happier. So quality reading is the main thing. And don't take much stress as far as the exam is uh, approaching you. That is the main thing. If have faith in you and uh, work on it. Just have faith and confidence in you. That's the main thing. That is such a great point. Thorough reading, quality reading, more than quality re quantity reading. That is really a great mantra that we all should follow. Can you also share some time management tips, both while, while you were studying, while you were preparing for your exams, as well as while you were writing paper? It is very difficult to complete the paper within the stipulated amount of time with long answer questions as well. So can you share some time management tips with us? Yeah, uh, see, time management, as far as I'm concerned, I'm a little bit orthodox in that uh, way because... Uh, First of all, if you want to manage the time for studying final year subjects, do one thing, don't make a timetable. That is the main thing. Never, never, ever make a timetable because as soon as you make a timetable and fall short of fulfilling it, you will make another timetable or fulfilling that first timetable. That is the main thing because never, ever it will happen that uh, even a single day you will uh, fulfilling your timetable. There will be a single day that you will not be able to complete or study that portion which you have made for during that timetable. 
so what you will do you will complete that portion within the next day and the ne portion of the next day will be postponed to the day after tomorrow so you will making a new timetable for completing that particular timetable so avoid that just make a goal that uh, i have to complete this particular subject in this 15 amount of stipulated time or you can just make a small small amount of goals like we have a uh, we have college internal examination so make a goal that i have to complete at least 25% of uh, the subject in the, that particular internal examination no matter what is the portion of that examination i have tried this see i don't bother mainly on my college internal examination i have made a goal on my mindset that i have to complete these many chapters based on their importance in the examination and in that examination for example i have the oral maxillofacial surgery so tmj unit was a very bit important topic for the exams as far as the university exams is concerned so first i have made the goal that i have to complete this unit before my internal examination no matter whether this that unit was taught in my uh, uh, curriculum or lecture or whether this unit is coming in my exams or not i have to complete this so making small goals and uh, not not making timetable and uh, fulfilling that small goals will really help you to uh, achieve your goal second thing time management in examination is a very very important thing see uh, we are not sometimes what happens with majority of us that if, as soon as we'll see a very easy question we'll be very happy and we'll start writing it but we'll not think that the easiest question is only for 5 marks or 7 marks rest 63 marks is different so we'll write and we'll be knowing everything about it we'll be writing almost 10 to 15 pages on that particular question and we will be wasting almost 45 to 50 minutes of our time so we'll have only two two hours left so better just uh, speculate that what are the question asked to you first of all then speculate what are the content available to you i would prefer that i will be writing down the question which has the least content but that content would be sufficient enough to fetch me maximum amount of marks so for that what we have to do just you segregate the questions for example in gujarat university we will having almost 4 7 markers and 6 5 markers and 12 one liners will be having so total amount of questions would be 10 will be long answers and 12 will be one liners and total amount of time will be having is 180 minutes so you i have segregated that i'll be uh, being amount almost 20 minutes for 7 markers and 15 minutes for 5 markers you can also do likewise that you will segregate 1 and 1/2 hour for a section 1 and 1 and 1/2 hour for section 2 and uh, for that if your 20 minutes for that 7 marker is finished then leave that question leave pages 1 and 1 to 2 pages for that question but leave that question don't attempt to write as soon as your 20 minutes is over that is a main thing second thing draw as many figures as you know figures will always help to fetch you more marks then underlining the keywords keywords are is the most important thing that would help to fetch you more marks as far as the uh, university examinations are concerned that is great so what we can get out of this is that we need to focus on the entire paper and speculate the entire paper instead of focusing on the easier questions and attempting them first keywords and diagrams that is really great now in the final year it is the last year of our education and we are progressing towards our internship next we are very much gelled with our friends we know the city we are staying in and together with that we have eight huge subjects we have clinicals you also have a social life so how do you manage all of this and deal with all the stress around final year first thing is that don't take stress first of all if uh, i have seen that as soon as the third years will be promoted to final years the first thing that will strike in their mind is that we are in final year so we are having eight subjects how we are going to complete that would be the most and the first thing they will forget about it if you have completed nine subjects of dentistry and that also you have completed da da that carving that you are not able to do you can complete definitely the eight subjects because you are going to clinic since your third year so don't take the stress 
second thing uh, yes social life is very much important so what you will do uh, what i have done is that i have attended my every college function it whether it be a freshers party or whether it be a college fest cultural fest i have participated in all the dance competition it's there so it's not that i am like a bookworm or i will always study or not participate in that even yes i have left, uh, lived my social life also but the main thing is that i have told you earlier also that make small goals that is the main thing if uh, i if it is come for example if i have decided that it will complete uh, for example in prost will complete tooth preparation chapter in this uh, two or three days then complete it and uh, leave rest of the and you can enjoy the rest of the time which is available for you don't take much stress yes re, uh, start from the starting itself that is the main thing if you will uh, keep it for the last moment then it would be a very hectic and very stressful condition secondly don't take much stress that is the main thing have faith in yourself that is the main thing have faith in yourself have faith in uh, any god which you are worshiping have faith in god have faith in yourself you will be everything will be fine that is great now you have received a gold medal in oral and maxillofacial surgery so can you elaborate on your study strategy for this particular subject okay uh, oral and maxillofacial surgery the name itself is very large but the subject is not that hard it is as if it appears it's a very basic subject and the main thing uh, my hod of oral maxillofacial surgery on the first lecture itself she told that oral surgery 70% is of common sense 30% is of anatomy 70% is of common sense and 30% is of anatomy now main thing for this subject is that ki you have to know the basics if you have done your general surgery very well then you will be excellent in that subject for example if you have a question uh, like uh, write the management of uh, uh, fractures that is the question to you in your university exam uh, most of what will the students will write they will start from the clinic, all the clinical features and etc etc and as far as the treatment they will write that we have cortical screws mini plates wiring intraosseous wiring etc etc but the main thing which most of the students will be missing is that there are three main treatment principles of any fractures that is reduction fixation and immobilization no one will be writing these three important points though it was basic and it was there in your general surgery it is damn important to mention it oral surgery as well right this was the example right so they uh, stick to your basics stick to your basics that is the most important don't feel that it was uh, the point of general surgery yes you can mention it in oral surgery itself second thing in oral surgery is that see through the figures if you are free you are not have mood of reading the subject just see the figures what is there just see the type of the incision see the youtube videos what how the extraction is done how disinfection is done how a tmj surgery is done just see through the videos and attend the operator ot's as many as possible as far as you are concerned attend as many ot because sometimes what would happen that you have seen a, a typical incision which is made in a particular ot so you can mention it your in your answer it may be uh, like uh, it was it it may be not present in your textbook but that incision you can write in your answer so that would really be helpful attend clinics as much as possible don't bunk your clinics attend the clinic uh, uh go through the figures as much as possible go through the subjects main thing will be marking down the keywords in your textbook and the second so mark down the keyword itself during your first reading itself mark down the keywords don't do novel reading that is the first thing go itself like you are going to mug up the subject or you are going to understand the subject so so basically on your first reading itself you have to mark down the keywords and you have to list down the keywords in a paper so it would be helpful for you in revising at the last moment okay so dr raj lastly any final words of advice or motivation that you can give to your juniors yes sir definitely see don't take stress much that is the main motto and main thing is that don't take stress on how to revise in your examination the main thing is that just don't jot down the keywords in a paper basically i had my exams on a stretch no holiday was for there between two subjects 
so what i did was basically i just jotted down the keywords of important topics and i just go through the uh, went through the keywords in that speculated time because i just had almost 10 hours before one examination so it was not possible for me to go through whole subject in the in that 10 hours so just go through the keywords second thing uh, final tip would be that uh, have faith in yourself have confidence because that confidence can go and make you score wonders see as far as your practical is concerned confidence is the most important thing rather than yes knowledge is equally important but that extra edge which a gold medalist requires uh, is that confidence because once you will, if you will had confidence know that examiner will definitely give you one marks uh, if you are saying a wrong answer also okay so have confidence first thing have knowledge but have equal confidence don't be disheartened don't be stressed it is just a university exam don't think about final year or anything have confidence go through and it will be right thank you so much dr raj this was a wonderful session i am hoping that all of your juniors all our viewers have got to learn a lot they must be truly motivated right now after hearing all of your words also congratulations once again to you and all the very best for all your future endeavors thank you so much thank you for having me and all the best for my upcoming juniors and juniors and they, may they excel all everything in their particular subjects thank you thank you so much thank you for watching Bye.